Conduction of heat. Definition. Conduction is the process by which heat energy is transferred through a substance without the substance moving. Very nice definition, but what's it mean? Let's look at an example. In the picture, you can see a metal teaspoon in a hot cup of coffee. And we know from our experience that the teaspoon will fairly quickly heat up as the heat energy travels through the metal that the spoon's made of up to your fingers. And that process in which the heat energy travels through the metal of the spoon is called conduction. We know that particles in solids, liquids and gases are arranged as shown in the picture. So in a solid we have the particles close together and bonded together. In a liquid the particles are a bit further apart and they're not bonded together anymore, they're free to move around. And in a gas the particles are very far apart and are free to move around. We also know that particles move all the time and the higher the temperature, the faster they move. So when we heat a substance, its temperature goes up because the particles inside it start moving faster. Let's have a look at what happens inside a substance to the particles when it heats up. So here we've got a, a spoon in a Bunsen flame. So. Let's look what happens to the particles. So we're heating it up and these particles are at higher temperature here and they're vibrating faster and they collide with the particles next to them and make them vibrate faster. And they do the same to the next ones. And so the energy is passed on from particle to particle by collision. And so that's how the energy is transferred through the material. And so after a while, all the particles are moving faster so they've all, all at a higher temperature. So just to summarise, we can say that conduction is a process in which heat energy is transferred through a substance by the collisions of the particles. So when we heat up part of the substance, we make those particles vibrate faster or move faster. And they then bash into the particles next to them and make them move faster and so the energy is passed on in that way. If we have a think about solids, liquids and gases, how will the arrangement of particles affect conduction? Well, solids are the best conductors because their particles are so close together. So as soon as one particle starts vibrating faster, it immediately knocks the one next to it. Gases, on the other hand, are the worst conductors because their far particles are very far apart. So even if a small number of particles do start moving faster, then because they're so far away from all the other particles, they are unlikely to bash into other particles to pass on the energy. Metals are a special case. We know that metals are by far the best conductors. They are solids. But even though solids are the best conductors, we know metals are much better at conducting than non-metals. So let's see if we can have a look inside a metal to see what's going on. So here we've got the particles vibrating again. Okay, but there are these other bits. And these other bits, these tiny bits, much, much smaller than the particles um, that the metal is made of, are called electrons. And these are free electrons. And because they're so small, they can whiz quickly in between the particles. And so when they pick up energy here, they can quickly move through and transfer it to the rest of the metal. And that's why metals are much better at conducting heat energy than non-metals. So what do we know about conduction? Well, conduction is the process in which heat energy is transferred through a substance without the substance moving. And we talked about the example of the teaspoon. We know that when part of a substance is heated, the particles move faster and collide with the particles around them. In this way, 
the collisions cause the energy to be passed on from one particle to another and so the heat energy moves through the material. Conduction happens best in solids because their particles are very close together and worst in gases because their particles are far apart. And we know that metals are better conductors than non-metals because they have free electrons that can move quickly through the metal and transfer the energy.